Globe is a community of scientists, teachers, students, and citizens from more than 100 countries around the world. Their efforts in collecting information, or data, are helping us to better understand our environment. And now we need your help in collecting data so we can better understand the different types of clouds and the effects they have on Earth's climate. At any time, over 70% of the Earth is covered by clouds. And these clouds play a really important role in helping to control Earth's temperatures. For example, have you ever been outside on a hot and sunny day when a cloud rolls overhead and provides you with some much needed shade? Did you notice that the temperature suddenly felt cooler? That's because these clouds are blocking some of the sun's heat from reaching the Earth's surface by reflecting that heat back into space. Clouds like these that help to cool the Earth's temperature are lower to the ground and thicker, like big puffy cumulus clouds or the thick flat stratus clouds. On the other hand, there are clouds that actually help warm the Earth. These clouds are high in the atmosphere and made up of tiny ice crystals and are usually really thin. Cirrus clouds are a type of high cloud and they let most of the sun's energy pass right through them, reaching the Earth's surface. These clouds also help to absorb some of the Earth's energy preventing it from escaping into space, and so they act like insulation. Even small changes in clouds, such as overall cloud cover, cloud type, or the location where clouds form can impact Earth's climate. For scientists to understand these effects, we need accurate data on clouds. And NASA has a number of satellites orbiting Earth and collecting data on clouds and Earth's energy. And while these satellites give us a big picture of what's going on, we sometimes have some trouble with the details. Plus, we need data from your vantage point, right here on Earth. Satellites only see the tops of clouds, while you see the bottom. And so by putting these two vantage points together, we get a much more complete picture of clouds in the atmosphere. I'm really excited for you to start collecting data through the GLOBE program. You know, before I started working at NASA, I was a GLOBE student. 